What's up guys, this is QQ, so today we brought another DIY for you guys and as you know one of the biggest trends in this FW is plaid fabric. So for this DIY we kind of wanted to incorporate the plaid patterns and I don't know if it's just happening in Korea or it's also happening in the States or other country but lately it's really difficult to find women wearing a genuine blue indigo denim pant. Yeah, like a legit denim pants you can find at Calvin Klein, Levi's, American Eagle. So it's either a capri pants or tailor pants other than denim. The silhouettes are very similar to the pants you can see often at a brand called Oak and Forth. So it's either a white pants or straight pants, baggy pants. And it's kind of hard to see a lot of women with skinny pants as well. Wait, I wear skinny pants. I always wear my black skinny pants. Well, that's not even denim, right? Oh yeah, that's it's not all, denim. It's always a black. Yeah. Yeah. So for this project, you will need one and a half yard of cotton fabric and one invisible zipper and a metal ring buckle. So one of the other FW fashion trends is ring. The bigger the better. So we actually have a ring on our necklace, we have a ring on our belt, and we have more rings on our other belt. So the more and the bigger the ring, the, the better. better it is. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let's get this video started. Okay, first trace the pants that it's not too tight. Then widen the crotch and the inner hem by 2 inch and then connect them evenly. At the outer hem, widen it by 2 inch as well and connect it to the top by gradually blending at the hip. So the entire blue area is going to be your new pants pattern. Now add half an inch seam allowance all around. Then at the hip, we're going to mark 1 and 3 quarter inch down from the waist. Next, from the point where you've just marked, go down 5 inch and mark. Then you're going to add extra half an inch. This is going to be your pocket opening. Now mark 5 inch inward from the tip of the waist. Next, mark 1 and a half inch down from the pocket opening. And from that point, create this bucket shape and gradually connect it to the waist where you've marked 5 inch. This is going to be your pocket pattern. Retrace that shape on a new piece of paper and add half an inch seam allowance and cut 4. FYI, cut 4 pants pattern and measure the waist of the pants. Multiply the measurement by 4 and the answer is going to be equivalent to the length of the waistband. The waistband is going to have 2 inch in width. Cut 2 for the waistband. For the belt, draw a rectangle with 48 inch in length and 3 and a quarter inch in width. Cut 1 for the belt. For the belt loop, draw a rectangle with 2 and a quarter inch in width and 3 and a quarter inch in length. Cut 6 for the belt loop. Place the correct side of the pocket facing the correct side of the front pants and sew the opening. Repeat the exact steps for the other three pants. Now place the front and back pants correct sides facing together and sew them in half an inch where I'm pointing. Yep, the seam goes all the way down from the pocket and side seam to the hem. Pull the belt loop in half and sew it in half an inch. Turn them right side out and you should end up with 6 belt loops. For the belt, fold them in half and sew it in half an inch and make sure to leave about 3 inch opening. Moving back to the pants, now you're going to sew the inseam of the pants together in half an inch. Okay, going back to the belt, we're going to turn right side out through the 3 inch opening. For the waistband, we're going to secure the belt loop only at the top and the position of the belt loop is up to you. Sandwich the other half of the waistband on top and you're going to sew only the top seam in half an inch. Going back to the belt, secure the 3 inch opening by sewing very close to the opening. Once you're done with the waistband, you should end up with something that looks like this. Now sew the crotch together in half an inch. But for the back crotch, make sure to stop sewing at 5 inch down from the top of the center back because we need to save that seam for zipper. With the pins, secure the pocket top at the front waistline of the pants, not the back waistline. Then sew the waistband to the waist of the pants all around. Now sew in the invisible zipper at half an inch. Next, fold the raw edges of the waistband in half an inch and place it on top of the waist seam and stitch in the ditch at the correct side of the pants to secure. For the belt loop, fold the raw edges in half an inch and place it flat on the waistband and secure it with a zigzag stitch. You should end up with something that looks like this. For the hem, clean finish the raw edge with either a zigzag stitch or a surging machine and fold it in half an inch and secure it in place. For the belt, fold it in about 3 quarter inch and create a small hole at the center. Next, shove the prong through the hole and secure the fold by sewing it in place. So we 
hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you guys remember the Vetmon DIY that we did? Well, apparently we didn't know that it was worn by Taeyong from NCT. Actually, one of our subscribers told us that it was worn by Taeyong. Just like that, if there is any type of fashion items that is worn by K-pop members that you want us to recreate, recreate it, please leave your suggestion in the comment section below. So that's the end and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye-bye!